Hey youans, welcome back to my channel, it's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South, no intro, no outro, it's just this, ho! How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good week so far. I have a video that's basically just me telling you why Louis Vuitton hates us. They really do, guys. But first, thank you to my sponsor of this video, guys. Julia has a special thing going on right now, but first I'm going to show you what they sent me. You get all of the feels and all of the stuff. Yes, girl. And it comes packaged in this nice little box. You can take it out and put it in that little bag. Hey, I'm not going to poo-poo the idea. This is amazing. Oh my God, it's even better than I thought. Okay, let me see if it'll focus. There we go. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so this is from their Divine Love Collection. Okay, it's a special promotion that they have going on right now because October is what? Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Let me look at it. Let me let you look at it. Oh, I love the pink. It's so pretty. It's that rose gold kind of coppery pink for you know the month of october which is my birthday month by the way i don't know if i've told you 150 times but remember julia is about love life love me and here's the deal they've partnered with the uh, national breast cancer foundation incorporated and they decided to launch this divine love collection which oh my gosh it will knock your eyes out it's so beautiful the stone Look at the actual, uh, if you guys are into rose gold too, like this, really, you need to check this out. Very affordable. And here's the thing, to spread awareness, they are going to give $2 out of every sale from the Divine Love Collection to the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation Incorporated. What? That's insane. It's going to a good cause and the jewelry is spectacular chef's kiss i mean hello it is giving me all of the special donation feels and the rings and the jewelry just amazing and spectacular as you can see i want to give you another close-up of that rose gold how beautiful it is now y'all know i have sausage fingers so yes she did have to get an ample size Whew, the struggle girl but Thankfully, Julia accommodates every size. I have never got a ring or bought anything from them ring-wise, okay, <laughs> that did not fit. Their sizing is amazing. You don't like, oh, it runs small, oh, it runs big. No, it's just exactly right. So all of their stuff that they send me is perfect. I am so amazed at this. I think I'm going to wear it. Like I say every time, I think I'm going to wear it. I need one more ring. Stop giving me all the rings, right? No, I love this one. So it's for a good cause. Definitely head over. I'm going to put their stuff down in my box, link you straight over. You've got to go see this collection. It is amazing, as I said. And also, um, you can enjoy 15% off by using my promo code. And I got that link down below, too. Thank you to the good folks at Julia. Let's get into this video. I really think that Louis Vuitton hates us. I really don't think that they um, are appreciative of our patronage. Uh, and I'm not just talking about the small buyer that buys less than, you know, one to five bags a year. I'm talking about across the board. They are just not treating us great, guys. <laughs> First off, the pochette accessoire. Okay, so they decided, this is the thing that they're doing now. They have decided that they are going to change up the pochette accessoire. Okay, make some minor little zhuzhes to it and then jack the price up yet again. So now, if you want a pochette accessoire, it's like, uh, girl, 1600 is 1500 and some odd. So here in the States, we have to pay tax. That brings that total over $1,600 for something two and a half years ago that I bought for $575, okay? Yeah, they are really hating on us guys and not only that i feel like the policies anymore are just getting more and more whacked out 
So take this for instance. If you buy a bag, uh, pre-loved vintage, and you want to take it into them, of course you're paying, and have it serviced and replace all the vaquetta on the bag. Cool. They'll take your, what is it now, seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars to do that, depending on the bag. They'll totally do that, because why? ka -ching, That makes a little money for them, or a lot of money. And they keep your bag for like six months. It's a whole thing, and most people are very happy with their repairs. I'm not saying anything bad about that. Their artisans are great. Uh, but here's the thing. So I wanted to buy a bag. It was part of the Bubblegram collection, one of those little little sling-like bags. I can't really describe it, but anyway, <laughs> I was going to buy one pre-loved from a very, and I mean very, motivated seller. The only problem was she had already parted out the strap. I know, who does that? Uh, so she didn't have the strap that came on it. So I contacted LV and I was like, hey, I would really love to get just a replacement. And they said, oh, do you have a history with us of buying that particular bag? Can you show where you bought it? And I was like, well, no, it's a pre-loved bag. And I just want to make sure I can get the strap before, you know, I commit to buying the bag from this other seller. It's authentic. And she has the original receipt. Just didn't say my name on it. I mean, she's going to give me the original receipt, all the little things that go with it, everything. She just bought it last year. Nope, sorry. Policies have changed a bit and we can't. We cannot let you have uh, or sell you, that's it, sell you the strap without showing that you actually bought that bag. I'm like, well, <laughs> wait a minute now, what? So that to me is a little insane. Why do you care where I got the bag as long as I'm paying you? I didn't say like, send me a free one. I just said, I want to buy the strap that goes on this bag. No, they would not. Um, they would not sell me that particular strap that went to that particular bag originally. Uh, but now if you bought the bag and you could show that you lost it or whatever, they'll totally sell you. I mean, that did not compute at all. That was all just crazy talk, okay? Like, ugh. And here's a policy that I think is just, and I know it's changed, uh, recently, but so I've got a friend, let's call her Taffy. Okay. <laughs> Taffy goes into the stores, different stores, right? And she travels quite a bit. She buys four or five bags at a clip in the actual stores. She went one time in a particular store and asked to buy, I don't even know, just one bag, I think. And they were like, no, 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 you've already bought like eight or nine bags or whatever it was this month. We cannot sell you. So they refused to sell her another bag because she had hit her quota. I guess they assumed she was just a reseller. She was buying different bags. Okay, that is the most whack and insane thing I have ever heard. Like, if I want to buy a bag, then let me buy a friggin' bag. It doesn't matter if I bought a hundred. But there is a fine line between it. So I have another friend. Let's call her um, Marina. Mm -hmm. Marina buys and has an SA and can buy any amount of bags she wants. All month, every day, all month long. I get it. She collects the bag. She's a VIP customer. But why isn't my other friend Taffy allowed to, too? Because she spends quite a bit of money. I know there's a spending whatever, but this is all insane to me. This is why I know Louis Vuitton hates every single one of us. And don't get me wrong. I love Louis Vuitton. That's in my daggone channel name. I have the most of Louis Vuitton um, bags that I own. Most of them are LV. I love the brand. I love the bags. I don't know about the brand, but I love the bags so much. I think they're incredible. But girl, y'all got to check your policies. Another thing that happened. So do you remember Dawn and I bought this little Nano Neverfull? Remember that? We pre-ordered it months before the drop. We had to tell our SA like, hey girl, we want this bag. She was like more than happy to pre-order it for us. But here's the thing. We did not get it until after the drop. So usually in the past when I've pre-ordered bags, that's like a secure way of saying like you'll get it before everybody else, you know. 
I want to cut to Cammie bought the bag and girl, she waited till the day of drop, ordered it and got it the very next day in less than 24 hours. But I contacted our essay and was like, what is going on in there? And she was like, you know, I'm very sorry. Like they won't let us send out bags before the release date, even though they had the bag in store, they had our bags. They were not allowed their particular stores policy was we can't send you that before the drop date, which makes no damn sense. Why would you even want to pre-order then? I get it. Sometimes they hike up prices after pre-order. I get it. I know that. But this was the, I mean, this was the icing on the cake for us. Like there's no sense in pre-ordering if you're going to be able to take your chances on the friggin' bag. And another case in point, this bag right here, this Micro Chantilly, I did contact them and say I wanted that bag, but I never heard anything else. I guess the particular store that my SA is in didn't get it, and that's fine. But I looked online the day before the drop date, so if I would have ordered it and pre-ordered it, I wouldn't have got the bag as soon as I did because they have to wait in store. Apparently that's a policy. So I think the whole policy part is different from store to store because my friend can go in, we're talking about Taffy again, she can go on into another like store in Atlanta or Charlotte or wherever she's at traveling, Nashville. She can get however many bags she wants, but there's some stores that are like, no, 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 we saw it in your history. You can only buy a certain amount of bags, sorry insanity guys these policies and they need to also pay their essays a little more because i feel like they don't pay enough on and i want the the monogram and the canvas pieces that's just what i'm into i don't particularly have the kind of leather money <laughs> so i'm not going to order those and i think the essays probably do make a pretty good chunk i don't know but i think they of course they do better because those price points are up there right and the monogram pieces are, you know, lower. I get that they don't make enough off of them, but I think their motivation needs to be, LV across the board needs to say like, we're gonna give our salespeople, no matter what piece they sell, a certain percentage off of that. And they don't do that. They give them a very, very small percentage. It's not enough incentive for them to just get out there and beat the street. Not that we want them to beat the streets, but, you know, it would be nice. Like, give them enough incentive to, hey, yeah, such and such is coming out. I want to show it to you first because we're going to, do you know what I mean? And then show it to your customers that don't, I might, I might go a whole year and buy two bags. I might go a year and buy 10 or 12 bags. You know, it just always depends on my situation, whether I'm using credit cards. She's not right now, but, you know, it's just all about the person. But they don't take that in, into consideration. They just want you to be buying, 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 buying. But not everybody can buy, 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 buy. It's insane to me. I just, I don't know. Weigh in with your thoughts. Like, I know there's some things that you guys have seen that they do is just, uh Remember how they used to do price increases every other week? Remember those days? So now they've gotten really smart about that. They're like, um, yeah we're not gonna price increase all of our bags but what we are gonna do is start dropping new bags at a higher price point so like we're gonna revamp a neverfull call it a bb and we're gonna charge you two thousand dollars uh what you could buy a full neverfull almost easier than, <laughs> or for cheaper or as cheap right uh especially on the pre-love market but yeah, we're just going to come out and roll out new bags every week. So many bags. And we're going to just keep the price point boom, high. And that way we don't have to come across with these. So they're looking like they're, oh, look at us angels not doing price increases regularly. Bull crap. Check out the pochette accessoire. And the thing is with that, they can always say, oh, we revamped that bag. We revamped her. So now we can charge $1,600. No, ma'am. No, none of this makes any damn sense. The mini pochette going double, double. That was insane. Also, uh, the fact that we're, oh, 
we don't have neverfuls causing a huge panic in the luxury world but not gonna stock a neverfull anymore we're just not gonna do it you can pre-order it or try to get on a list are you kidding one of the most entry-level basic bags and don't get me wrong i'm not poo-pooing basic bags because i have a ton I'm just saying, like, when people first buy a bag, that's one of the first ones they want to buy from the brand. What are you doing? These policies, these procedures that you guys are doing are insane. And we're mad about it, but not mad enough to stop buying. So, there you go. <laughs> just my rant video for the week. Um, I hope you guys are having a special week, and it's happy. Uh, don't forget to do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Comment down below your thoughts and your feelings, what you are mad about from the Louis Vuitton. Why do you think they hate us so bad? What's going on? I get it. I know I'm going to get comments where people are going to say, they're a business. They're in it to make money. They're in it to make money, but the things that they are doing are just, they don't make any sense. Like if you're going to make a policy, do it across the board. Don't like one store go, oh yeah, girl, I'll sell you that, yeah. And then another store go, no ma'am, we cannot, no, we're not gonna do it and treat you like you're a criminal or something. It happens, I've seen it with my own eyes. I watch all the videos on Louis Vuitton, I know what happens. And one last thing, I do have to say this too. Why don't they let the stores have the nice packaging like the online orders. If you guys ever wonder that, you basically just get a FedEx box and overnight it. And I appreciate that, but they don't take the time and effort to put those pretty little boxes with the new little messenger guy inside. They don't have that at the store. And I feel like they should. And sometimes you get stuff online that you've ordered from the mail and you'll have perfume samples. Some people get perfume samples. I've gotten them before, some I haven't. I get it. Uh, some people get shopping bags. Some people get catalogs. Some people get special little tags and ribbons and, you know, limited edition things that come with it. And those are important to collectors, right? And those are important to, like, us because we are in that luxury market. But, yeah, it's it just needs to be straight across the board. Whether you order it from the store, whether you go in the store and get it, or whether you order it online, you should get all the special things that everybody else gets because we can see we can see the videos of people opening up their brand new boxes and getting stuff that we never get. All right, guys, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Do me another favor, though. Find that Julia link. Go over and check out their new line. It's all for a good cause, girl. October month, it is the month to buy the Divine Love Collection. Yes! And one more thing. If y'all see my husband, though, girl... Don't tell him nothing. Bye. Oh my gosh, girl. Bag of the day. I know. It's a huge rant against Louis Vuitton, but it is the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Pochette Matisse. Um, I am going to, in the next couple weeks, uh, show you how you can convert this Pochette Matisse into a little backpack. I know. Revolutionary, but I have the equipment now to do it. And I'm going to show you from a company that is so kind and so great. Um, Amer. That is coming up. And the scent of the day. I can't stress this enough how much I love in the fall this Killian's uh, brand, apple brandy on the rocks or whatever. Ah, oh, this. Oh my God, girl. It is so good. It's got a little bit of brandy. It's got those liquor notes. It's got that little bit of fruity apple and sort of spicy. It's just a fall scent, girl. You need to get on this if you haven't already. Try this out. Don't blind buy. Just try it, though. But seriously, it's good. Oh, girl, and do me another favor. I'm going to put a video right here. Keep on watching. Thank you. The salty side of me says, I hate you, Louie. But the sweet side of me is still in love. Biatch.